So here we are. Got these bad boys off. Got the tires off. Didn't really feel the need to show that, but uh, I'm gonna go with my first go at doing rear brakes on a dually. Uh, what is it? One ton, I guess. And uh, we're gonna see how this goes. So anyway, I'll bring you along for the ride. Uh -huh. There's a little star nut in here. Got a tab bent up. You have to bend that tab back in order for the block nut to be free so you can take the drum off almost This nut is only finger tight, so. Now typically, when you pull this apart, you get a little oil leaking from the rear end. I know mine's full, I just had the pinion suit replaced. And they would have filled it when they did that but I have it jacked up on this side going that way so you know it's not going to travel uphill yes. get this thing out of here should have brought my picks out here it's been easier right there you see that little nub there's a little notch right there for it to slide into so when you put it back it keeps it in one spot and then they take out the second lock nut which is also finger tight is the bearing and bearing seal. You can see me spinning that bearing, which feels pretty good. We'll find out when we get it out, but now we take the drum off. Might as well use the grease for my hands and put a little bit on these lugs. So maybe when I put them back together, it'd be so bad.
repairing. It looks pretty good. It needs to be cleaned and oiled, but it's good. And just so you know, luckily I got some good upper body strength, but that drum weighs about a hundred pounds. <laughs> It isn't really a joke taking it off of there so uh, if you don't have some good arm strength and whatnot uh, I suggest you standing up and getting it like I get me a couple good pictures of this so I remember how to put it back together and uh, it doesn't look too bad really yeah they're not they're not dead I bet the other side though was making a lot of noise so I'm gonna assume that that was the part that's really gonna screw me over but we'll find out in the meantime, I'll be back. Try and get this stuff took apart. This is the uh, brake adjuster. Screw this in to take the tension off the brakes. Ideally, you'd want to hose this down with some brake cleaner, but uh, I don't have any, so I'm going to have to do it before I put it back together. I wanted to take it apart, since it's a 1975, make sure I could get the parts, so I'm going to take them with me. to the parts store yep so while I was gone to the parts store it decided to rain isn't that lovely anyway back to work we are going to attempt to put it all back together now enjoy the ride
so apparently my camera crashed and I got the brakes all put together so sorry pro tip take pictures then you know what you're looking at when you're going back together This might suck. As it turns out, you're going to get to see me put it back together because I have to take it apart now. See, this thing got ribs on it. It's got ribs on it. So you have to beat it into that hole. Why these don't come pre installed, I don't know. Another tip, socket underneath, underneath, put this on the ground, hit this from above, nice solid surface. Back to assembly. I'm going to try and do this on camera. For the record though, this is no joy.
and that is what we just hooked up. It takes a ton of pressure to push that, and it's so much easier if you just get a pair of needles, pliers, and hook that on there. Putting your fingers in there is just kind of crazy. I'm sure they make a special tool for it, but uh, this one worked pretty good. Lovely. You know, whenever you're making a video, there's always one. Don't do drugs, kids. All right, we're gonna take a break. Clean up the parts and put it back together. Day two, one robins. So I took it apart and hanging on the axle back here was this. This is a piece of spring. And what this does is if you can see me stretching it, I don't know. But what that does is retains that bearing. So I'm going to have to pop that bearing out and replace it, which was the source of my noise was probably this getting stuck in the brake shoes because the brake shoes really, they don't look that bad. But since I'm here and I already got the shoes, <clears throat> I'm going to put them on, held it, and I don't have to ever worry about it again because back brakes last forever. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, and I'm gonna get that bearing re replaced. I'll probably uh, go make sure I can get that today. 
and uh, get back to it. Alright, bye. Still day two, as we found out <clears throat> during this assembly. Part of the noise problem I was having when I hit the brakes and, and I lost pedal was because the tension spring that goes across the bottom of the brakes, it goes from like this pad, or from this shoe, sorry they're called shoes on the back, from this shoe to the other shoe which is off, it's over on the ground. And it keeps them together and keeps them so that when the, <clears throat> when the wheel cylinder pushes, it pushes them evenly. So what was happening was this side was pushing out of sync, took all my pedal, and uh, this made a lot of racket when I was in there. So we got a best spring kit and replaced that, and uh, we'll be getting it back together. All right, bye. Yep, that sucked a little bit. Did some damage putting it back together, but it's all back together. So that's another project down the road. Today is... Put some fluid in it, make sure we're good, and bleed them if I need to, and... Uh, then I'm going to start working on something else. I don't know, I got an LED light bar to put on the front, and... I got to replace those... Those lights up there. See, that one's broken. And, uh, th thinking about doing a transmission cooler. We'll see. But, anyway, brake fluid's gonna be low. That's it right there. You can see where it squirted out, so I don't know what the deal is with that. The seal's probably dirty. I'll clean that all up and we'll be back. Hmm. Brake cleaner's not the greatest for paint, but <clears throat> works to get the crap off. I don't know if you can see this or not, but that dirt right there, rust and stuff. Uh, let's see. Like, yeah, that rust and stuff. We just gotta clean that all out of there. Just some brake cleaner. Set that aside and let it dry. Yeah, what we're doing is making sure that that thing's good and clean so that uh, it'll get a good seal. Top off the food with some dot three rake food.
Not squirting any food, that's good. Alright, let's start her up and make sure the brake pedal works like it should. That's that. So I went to start Dottie, and she didn't want to start. I ended up, you know, just knocking on the battery terminals and it started. It's kind of common with these top posts, but um, I got a little trick about once a month if you do this this is uh <clears throat> it's a battery cleaner and acid detector and what it does is you spray it on and it literally what this is up here there we go okay anyway what it does is it eats the corrosion off of everything so I put a little bit of this on here it doesn't hurt nothing I mean I don't do it when it's running just cuz but uh, I put a little bit of that on and this can I don't know I think I paid six or seven bucks for it and uh, I've had this can for over two years and it's still got a little bit in it and uh, I used it on my big truck. I had the same problem, you know, you got three or four batteries. Keep them clean, no big deal. But anyway, this stuff works like a champ. And then I let it sit for, you know, five, ten minutes, let it do its job. And then I come back with some, uh, like, white lithium grease or even WD-40 would work. It's not as good, but, you know, some kind of grease works best. And just spray it down with that, and, and I'm good. So, anyway, I'll give you that little tip.